how to install AT&T internet for a self-install. Well, let's start with the easy stuff. So you got this box in the mail and it says this way to fast internet, right? Because it's going to be the fastest internet possible. But you don't know what you have, right? So I'm going to show you a few little small tricks that's going to probably save you a huge headache. Um, basically, do you have this kind of jack or do you have this kind of ONT? Now, if you have this one, then you're going to probably end up using this gateway here with a proper coded SFP, either red or green. Now, the green is going to be for up to 1,000 and the red is going to be for up to 5,000. All right. So let's say you have this guy here. Hopefully AT&T didn't send you this box or this package, but uh, seeing a lot of customers recently getting this one, it's perfectly fine. We're going to go ahead and work with it. As long as your power and pawn are green, you're in business. You're going to grab the red Ethernet cable that's connect that's in your package, plug it into the ONT, and then this other portion here is going to go to the back portion of the residential gateway on the red. Okay, and that is going to give you your internet service. What's going to happen is you're going to use your smart home manager app. Oh, got my shirt and my hat. Yay! Thank you, AT and T buddies, friends. AT and T wear. Um, so your pawn and your power are green. As soon as you plug this puppy in and this starts blinking your data is going to go solid then you can use a smart home manager app and then go through the prompts then oh, let's go ahead and move this out of the way then this guy is going to start blinking green all right then once you go through the smart home manager app and do the activation it is going to turn uh white and then take the update go amber go red blink white go solid white you got your gaming you can do your videos and all kinds of good stuff right like I do, I play my video games every single day almost. All right, so that's the easy part. Let's say you moved into a home and you have this gateway here and they got this. They're, all you gotta do is same thing. You take, you take your gateway, flip it around, plug in the red into that red portion, same thing. Power and pawn are going to be solid green. Your data is going to be yellow or amber or green if you're under 100. Smart Home Manager app, power is going to go green. Broadband is going to start blinking green. That means you're about to get service. Once you go through Smart Home Manager app same way, you're in business. All right. Say you move to a little bit of an older neighborhood where they have, yikes where you won't be able to see it, but they have this guy. This is what they call a, where'd it go, 240G. This is crazy, because it's got, you're gonna have to have a power. So in your garage, you should have like a pretty big box, probably about this size of a box with a battery inside of it. And as long as it's got power, you'll be able to be all right. Now. Don't recommend this because it's very dangerous to open up in, uh, the network interface device box, the little gray box outside, because it could be charged with electricity and you could shock yourself. At that point in time, go ahead and call 288-2020 and I'm sitting on technician. But let's say it's you do see the lights green. Possibly this is working because hopefully the phone agent said, hey, yeah, it's working. Then you're going to go find the red jack at the house that's going to have an Ethernet port. And you're going to plug this into the Ethernet port and this into the back of it. Should start blinking green. If it doesn't, stop what you're doing. 2 at 2020 Just go ahead and send the technician. All right. On to the easy stuff. Okay. And I call this easy stuff because I've had that so many people do their self-installs. It's crazy. You moved into your home and you see this. It is in the living room and you're like, you know what? This is great. I know exactly what's going to happen. Previous tenants said, yeah, I had everything installed in the living room and I backfed everything to the smart panel and the smart panel is a 24 port switch that connects every single room in the house. I'm in heaven. We'll bypass that. You see this and you say, honey or babe, they got fiber here. We got to get this fiber AT&T internet. Same thing. 
bring your box or they shipped it in there. It's great. SFP should already be installed. Pull the little cover plate off. Connect. Oh, listen to that sound. Ah, we're in business. Smart Home Manager app, unless you use the move order. Smart Home Manager app, you're going to have to use it anyways. Smart Home Manager app, set it up, blinking green, go solid white, amber, go red, then white. Now you're in business. You can start gaming, you can start doing all your things. So, that is the easy self-install kits for AT&T. Now, I can't tell you how to install internet because you're going to have to leave it for the professionals for that. Uh, I'm sure there's some videos out there that uh, could be not very good to do because you're also going into technology, network technology. Let's leave that for, for the professionals. It's not like flipping on a light switch because you're not going to be able to do it unless you have a specific machine that they tested you can't go to home depot and get you a tester because it's not going to work they're going to have a specific signal and it's also dedicated line to your home that's how they keep theft down they don't turn the splitter on at the telephone pole and then you just plug up a um a coax switch and take it to a modem and they hook up a router and you're done it doesn't work that way you literally have to have a dedicated line with an account number tied into that specific ip address that sends a signal and that's how you get your wife so, anywho, I just want to say thank you for coming to my channel on how to install AT&T Internet. Self-install kits are the best oh my God, thing out there for anyone that already has a service built into it. AT&T technicians work very hard to make sure all the services are running. I just want to say to everyone on this channel, thank you for supporting this channel. It helps out a lot for me to be able to do this and bring y'all some good information on certain things. Hopefully one day I'm able to actually, I might open up my network in and kind of fiddle around with it and show you what I've seen a lot of guys and gals do out there. But for right now, AT&T is the best way to go. Love the shirt, love the hat. Have a nice day, guys. Dun 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 d